Hi everyone, my name is Ben Williams. I work for Tech Impact. In this video, we are going to be talking about how to install and set up the new OneDrive for Business Sync Client, why you would want to do this. We have some improvements that have been made. We are also able to have more than 20,000 items in your library and still be able to sync to your computer. Another added feature with this new sync client for OneDrive for Business is the ability to do selective folder syncing. So you can save some space on your hard drive if you don't want to download your entire OneDrive for Business library to your hard drive. So there's a page on the Office website, support website, called Getting Started with the OneDrive for Business Next Generation Sync Client. We actually really only have one step. We're just going to be going to number one, install the Windows version or, or Mac version if you're on a Mac. And you're going to click on New OneDrive for Business Sync Client. It will download that file. And we just need to run this. So you can save it if you'd like to, but you will need to run it. It's going to come right up and prepare for first use. And then it's just going to prompt us to sign in with our Office 365 credentials. Um, if I click on this, it's just going to ask me for my email address. So I would put in my work account, my Office 365 account. It may ask you which one you want for OneDrive for Business. It's always going to be work or school. And then we can put in password. So after signing in with your Office 365 information, it's just going to show you where your new OneDrive for Business sync folder is going to be. If you do want to change that location, you can. The default is just under your Windows profile. So I'll go for that. I'm going to say yes, use this location. This is where we can select which folders we would like to actually sync to our computer. So you can really just pick and choose whichever folders you have in there already that you would like to download or not like to download to your hard drive. We'll be good with that and hit Next. And we should also now have yep, my OneDrive dash tech impact in here that I have all of my folders and files that I did choose to download in on here. So I have easy offline access to all of this stuff now.